Hi folks, welcome back to the channel, where today we are diving headfirst into the absolute madness of the AI world. You think you've seen it all? Think again, because today we're exposing the most pointless, most ridiculous, most unnecessary AI products ever created. I'm talking about stuff that'll make you question your entire existence. We've got a self-driving stroller that refuses to drive when a baby's in it. Yes, you heard that right. We've got AI binoculars that take all the fun out of bird watching, a grill with an AI brain, and things get even weirder. We're gonna unpack the smart mirror that insults your face, the AI toilet that judges your poop, an energy drink crafted by robots, a baby cry translator that's probably useless, and an AI friend that is always listening. So buckle up buttercups because this is gonna be a wild ride. Get ready to facepalm, cringe, and maybe even shed a tear at the sheer stupidity of these AI inventions. Is this the future? Let's find out together, but be warned, it might make you wanna smash your phone. So welcome back to our cozy podcast and let's get the party started. Joining me as usual, Laura from Google Notebook LLM. Let's go. Welcome back to our Cozy Podcast listeners. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at AI flops of the year. Oh, this should be fun. Yeah. Those products that promised to revolutionize our lives with artificial intelligence, but... Mm -hmm. You know, kind of fell flat on their faces. Yeah, totally. And we've got a stack of articles, yeah. YouTube videos, even some leaked product specs. Oh, wow. To help us unpack these tech train wrecks. So. You know, it's fascinating to me that these flops aren't just funny. Like, they offer a glimpse into the sometimes overhyped world of AI development, you know? Yeah. Some of these products seem to solve problems that just don't even exist. Right. While others raise some serious questions about privacy and the role of technology in our lives. Okay, so let's unpack this one trend that really jumped out at me. Is what I'm calling like the, it could have been an app mm -hmm. phenomenon. You know, we've got these clunky hardware products that seem to do things a simple smartphone app could handle just as well, if not better. Exactly. Like, take the Humane AI pin, for instance. It's a palm projector that was supposed to, like, replace your smartphone projecting information onto your hand. Right. Futuristic, right. But in reality, it was plagued with overheating issues, and the functionality was so limited. Oh, I saw that video where they were using ice packs to keep the device cool during demos. It's like, mm -hmm. why wouldn't they just develop a sophisticated app instead of mm -hmm. creating this whole new piece of hardware that most people probably wouldn't even want to carry around? Yeah, it makes you wonder if some companies are just trying to capitalize on the AI buzz without actually offering, you know, practical solutions. Right. And then you've got the Rabbit R1, uh -huh. this pocket-sized AI assistant that basically was just an Android phone in disguise like so retro mm -hmm. so unnecessary yeah and that brings us to another category of ai flops okay the products that just miss the mark when it comes to user experience and sometimes even suck the fun out of everyday activities yes the ai that tries to fix things that weren't broken yeah like that ai powered bird feeder that identifies the different bird species visiting your backyard i mean I get the appeal of having a personal ornithologist on hand, but isn't part of the joy of bird watching, the challenge of identification, like using field guides and learning the subtle differences between species. This just takes all the fun out of it. Yeah, it removes that element of discovery, that yeah. aha moment when you finally identify a bird you've been trying to spot. Exactly. And then we have the AI integrated refrigerators that analyze your groceries and suggest recipes, uh -huh. which in theory sounds helpful. Right. But I actually enjoy the creative process of meal planning, like going through my cookbooks and experimenting with different ingredients. Having an AI dictate what I should cook based on what's in my fridge feels a little too controlling. It removes your agency in the kitchen. Yeah. Then you have these AI enhanced gaming chairs that constantly adjust your position to ensure you're sitting ergonomically correct. Oh, gosh. As if we need an AI to nag us about our posture while we're trying to relax and enjoy games like Hey, fun's over time to sit up straight. It just feels like another example of AI being used to solve problems that don't really exist. Or worse, taking the joy out of activities we already enjoy. Right. But perhaps the most concerning category of AI flops is what I'm calling the invasion of privacy group. 
These are the products that make you wonder just how much personal information we're willing to surrender in the name of convenience or a little bit of novelty. Yeah, like those AI pet collars that claim to translate your pet's barks and meows into human language. I mean, wouldn't it be amazing to finally understand what your furry friend is trying to tell you? But think about it. Do we really want to know every thought and feeling going through our pet's head? Right. What if the AI misinterprets a bark as a sign of aggression when your dog is just excited? <laughs> yeah, that could lead to some serious misunderstandings. And then we have the AI-infused smart mirrors that analyze your skin, identifying blemishes, wrinkles, and other imperfections. And then they offer you unsolicited beauty advice, right? Like, hey, that wrinkle is looking a little deeper today. Oh my God. It's like having a judgmental AI stylist living in your mirror. It makes you wonder, where do we draw the line between convenience and surrendering our privacy. Especially when you consider the potential for this data to be used in ways we haven't even imagined yet. And the award for the most bizarre product in this category has to go to the Numei 2.0 Smart Toilet. Yes, you heard that right. A toilet with AI capabilities. Wow. It has all the bells and whistles you'd expect, heated seats, automatic flushing, a built-in bidet. Okay, but here's where it gets really interesting. It has the potential for poop scanning technology. That's right. The developers claim that this technology could analyze your waste and provide insights into your health. Which, on one hand, could be incredibly valuable for early disease detection, but on the other hand, it's hard to imagine anything more personal than having an AI examine your bowel movement. It's like the ultimate invasion of privacy. Yeah. And it raises some serious ethical questions about who has access to that data and how it might be used. Okay, we need to shift gears for a second and talk about the AI that thinks it has taste buds. Hell Energy. The energy drink was supposedly created entirely by artificial intelligence. The marketing claimed that AI not only designed the recipe, but also tasted it, and even came up with the branding. It was a bold move. But as one British YouTuber put it after trying it, AI hasn't got a clue. He wasn't exactly impressed with the flavor. Which begs the question, does AI creativity lack that human touch? Can an algorithm truly replicate the nuances of taste? and the subjective experience of enjoyment. It seems like in this case, the AI missed the mark. Perhaps a human taste tester could have saved them from this flop. But speaking of flops, let's move on to the two products that take the cake for sheer absurdity, the Capella Baby Cry Translator and the Friend AI Pendant. Oh my God, these two are like something out of a dystopian sci-fi movie where technology tries to replace basic human intuition and connection. The Baby Cry Translator promises to tell you exactly what your baby needs based on their cries, whether they're hungry, tired, or uncomfortable. But as one of our sources pointed out, babies pretty much only cry for one reason. They're uncomfortable. It's the parent's job to figure out why and respond accordingly, blindly trusting an app to decipher your baby's cries seems like a recipe for disaster. And the irony is that the ad for this product shows the parents completely ignoring their baby, staring at their phones while relying on the app to do the parenting for them. It creates this self-fulfilling prophecy where the baby is crying because the parents are absent and the parents are absent because they think the app has it all under control. It's a vicious cycle of technological detachment. And then you have the friend necklace, Yeah. this wearable AI companion that you wear around your neck. It supposedly listens to you and responds like a friend offering advice and witty banter. But the execution is so cringeworthy. The promotional video shows people using the necklace in various social situations, and the AI's responses are awkward, uncomfortable, and sometimes even insulting. Like that scene where a group of friends are playing video games, and one of them is clearly losing the AI, chimes in with a text message saying, you're getting thrashed, it's embarrassing. Not exactly the supportive friend you'd hope for. It's like the AI is trying to replace genuine human connection with these awkward robotic interactions. And the worst part is that the necklace is always listening, according to the website. The AI is constantly forming its own internal thoughts and can chime in at any time. Imagine being in a heated argument with your partner and suddenly your AI friend sends you a text message saying, damn, you're a terrible listener. It would be enough to send anyone over the edge. These two products, the Baby Crow Translator and the Friend Necklace, really highlight the potential dangers of AI when it tries to replace fundamental human experiences like parenting and friendship. It's a slippery slope we need to be cautious of. Absolutely. But let's not get too doom and gloom here. Yeah. I think there are valuable lessons to be learned from these AI flops. Definitely these products highlight the importance of thoughtful design, a deep understanding of user needs, and a healthy dose of skepticism when it comes to the hype surrounding AI. Yeah.
And on that note, I think it's time to wrap up this part of our deep dive into the AI flops of the year. Stick around. We've got a lot more to cover when we come back. Oh yeah, this is just the beginning. So much more to unpack. Stay tuned. And now let's get to our sponsor of this episode. Are you ready to take your crypto game to the next level? Introducing Solana Payouts, a high reward investment platform designed to grow your assets like never before. With Solana Payouts, you can invest seamlessly using crypto, stable coins, credit cards, or wire transfers. And here's the best part, earn up to 30% monthly returns on your deposits with payouts sent directly in USDT to the wallet address you provide. Their beta launch is just around the corner, offering exclusive benefits to early participants. And you'll love their cutting edge strategies, combining AI driven trading, grid harvesting, and leverage positions to maximize performance. Plus, they're fully audited by RSM Cypress, ensuring complete transparency and reliability. Ready to grow your portfolio with Solana Payouts. Jump in today and see what's possible. But remember, high rewards come with high risks. So invest responsibly. It's interesting how some of these AI flops try to solve problems that just don't exist, you know? Yeah. It's like they're looking for a nail to hit when they don't even have a hammer. That's a great analogy. Yeah. And I think a perfect example of that is the AI-driven smart toaster, seriously, who needs an algorithm to make toast. It's baffling, isn't it? Like most toasters have a simple dial with settings for light, medium, and dark toast. If you're feeling fancy, maybe you have a bagel setting. Right. But apparently that's not enough. We need AI to tell us when our bread is perfectly brown. Yeah, it's like they took a simple kitchen appliance <laughs> and turned it into a rocket science experiment. And I bet it comes with a hefty price tag, too. Oh, you can be sure of that. But, you know, speaking of overpriced gadgets, the AI-powered suitcase is another head-scratcher. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. The luggage that's supposed to follow you around autonomously, like a loyal robotic pet. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing those demos. They looked more like chaotic bumper cars than helpful travel companions. Exactly. They struggled to navigate crowded spaces, bumping into people getting stuck in doorways, and sometimes they even went rogue and wandered off on their own. Oh my gosh, imagine trying to get through airport security with a suitcase that has a mind of its own. I can see the headlines now. Runaway AI luggage causes airport chaos. It would be a travel nightmare. And again, this is another case of AI being used to solve a problem that doesn't really exist. Yep. Most of us are perfectly capable of carrying our own suitcases or using a luggage cart if we need assistance. Right. It seems like these AI-powered suitcases were more of a novelty item than a practical travel solution. But you know what really creeps me out? Those AI-infused smart mirrors. Oh, yeah. They not only reflect your image, but also analyze your every flaw. It's like having a judgmental AI stylist trapped inside your mirror, constantly scrutinizing your appearance. Imagine starting your day by looking in the mirror, and instead of seeing your reflection, you see a list of all your perceived imperfections. Talk about starting your day off on the wrong foot. And what's even creepier is that these mirrors are collecting data on your appearance. Who knows how that information might be used in the future? It's a bit unsettling, to say the least. It is, and it makes you wonder if in our pursuit of beauty and perfection, we're sacrificing our privacy and potentially our self-esteem. But, you know, there's one product that we haven't talked about yet that I find both absurd and a little bit terrifying, the AI-enabled toothbrush. Oh, you mean the toothbrush that thinks it knows how to brush your teeth better than you do? Mm. Seriously, who needs an AI to micromanage their dental hygiene? Right. And most of us learned how to brush our teeth when we were toddlers, and we've been doing it just fine without the help of algorithms. But this AI-enabled toothbrush monitors your brushing habits, tracks how long you brush each section of your mouth, and then provides feedback via an app. So it's like having an AI dentist judging your every brush stroke. And what if you miss a spot? Do you get a failing grade on your brushing technique? It just seems so unnecessary and invasive. It's another example of AI being used to solve a non-existent problem. It's almost as if the AI industry is determined to overcomplicate every aspect of our lives. Yeah, even the most mundane tasks aren't safe from the clutches of algorithms. It makes you wonder what's next. Will we soon have AI-powered forks that tell us how to eat our food? 
Perhaps, but you know, I think these AI flops actually serve a valuable purpose. They highlight the importance of critical thinking when it comes to new technology. Just because something is labeled AI powered doesn't automatically make it better or more useful. Right, I completely agree as consumers, we need to be more discerning and ask ourselves, does this product actually solve a real problem or is it just a gimmick? We need to be wary of the hype and focus on the practical applications of AI. Exactly, and I think that's a great segue into the next part of our deep dive, where we'll explore some of the ethical considerations surrounding AI and its potential impact on our lives. Welcome back to the final part of our deep dive into the AI flops of the year. We've seen some truly head-scratching products so far, but believe me, we've saved some of the most ridiculous for last data. It seems like the AI industry is in a race to see who can come up with the most pointless application for this technology. Yeah, it's almost like they're throwing AI at a wall and seeing what sticks, regardless of whether it actually makes sense or not. Exactly, and speaking of things that don't make sense, let's talk about the AI-powered wine aerator. This gadget promises to instantly aerate your wine using the magic of artificial intelligence. You know, as someone who enjoys a good glass of wine, I have to say this one really baffles me most. Wine enthusiasts understand that aeration is a process that takes time, you decant the wine, let it breathe, expose it to oxygen. It's about allowing the flavors and aromas to develop fully. But this AI-powered aerator claims to do all of that in a matter of seconds. It's like they're trying to hack the laws of chemistry, and I'm willing to bet that a good old-fashioned decanter would produce a much better result and probably cost a fraction of the price. I'd be inclined to agree with you there. It seems like they're charging you a premium for the privilege of having your wine aerated by a robot. But let's move on to another product that's both ridiculous and a little bit unsettling, the AI-powered sex doll. Okay, this one definitely falls into the too much technology, not enough human connection category. The doll claims to have artificial intelligence that allows it to interact with you on an emotional level. It can supposedly hold conversations, respond to your touch, and even simulate orgasms. But let's be real, this is just a glorified sex toy with a marketing gimmick. It's not a substitute for human connection, and it's definitely not going to replace the complexities of a real relationship. It's sad that some people are willing to settle for this kind of ro robotic companionship rather than seeking out genuine human interaction. Yeah, it speaks to a certain loneliness and isolation that seems to be growing in our increasingly digital world. But on a lighter note, let's wrap things up with the product that I think takes the cake for the most pointless and ridiculous use of AI, the AI-powered toilet paper dispenser. Oh yes, the dispenser that uses artificial intelligence to determine how much toilet paper you need, because apparently we're not capable of judging that for ourselves. It's as if they're trying to automate one of the most basic human tasks. You know, you just grab what you need and go about your business. It's not exactly rocket science. But this AI-powered dispenser claims to prevent waste by only dispensing the exact amount of toilet paper you require. It's a solution in search of a problem. And it's a perfect example of how AI can be used to overcomplicate our lives. It's like they're trying to turn us into robots who can't even perform the simplest tasks without the help of algorithms. So what can we take away from all of these AI flaps? What have we learned from this deep dive into the world of technological misfires? I think the biggest takeaway is that we need to be more critical of the hype surrounding AI. Just because something is labeled as AI powered doesn't automatically make it better or more useful. We need to ask ourselves if these products are truly solving real problems or if they're just gimmicks designed to capitalize on the latest tech trends and sometimes the simplest solutions are the best. Absolutely. And I think it's also important to remember that technology should enhance our lives not complicate them or replace human connection. Well said, and on that note, I think it's time to wrap up this deep dive into the AI flops of the year. Mm. Thanks for joining us, and remember to approach new technology with a healthy dose of skepticism and a good sense of humor. And who knows, maybe next year we'll have even more hilarious AI flops to dissect. Thank you for listening to our cozy podcast, and don't forget to subscribe, 